going on though? 20, uh, she told me. Oh, okay. So this is a friend of yours? Yeah. Okay. So what did she say? That this guy was assaulted her or hit her? Physically assaulting her, yes. Okay. But this isn't a boyfriend or anything like that? Yes. It's, 20, it could be, yes. Okay. Is it her boyfriend? Yes or no? Seconds. Yes. What's her name? Her name, Amber. Amber has been exposed once again by one of her former cohorts, and this unveiled secret has raised the bars in Amber's entire evil plot. Keep watching to find out what this is about. One of the important details the U.S. defamation revealed to the court and the entire public is how Amber may have convinced her friends into plotting against Depp and unfortunately for the Aquaman actress. More revelations are stacking up against her. You may recall an anonymous 911 call that made that signifies the final blowout fights that ended Depp and Amber's marriage, but you might need to pay attention to how unveiled documents and testimony have exposed Amber. Yo, one of Amber's friends claimed that while the heated assault was going on, he listened over speakerphone and concluded that Amber was indeed in danger. I then heard Amber crying in fear and begging Johnny to stop his attack. Thereafter, I heard Amber scream out call 911 before the call got disconnected. I called 911 to save Amber's life. He said, that's why, when it happened again, when I was on the phone with both of them and heard it drop, I heard him say, what if I pulled your hair back? And her scream for my help, I wondered like so many times before if I should break the code of silence that surrounds celebrities and invite the police into the situation, and in a split second decided that, yes, I was going to, he wrote. However, Depp's legal team pointed to an LAPD log that shows that Eo, whose real name is Tillett Wright's call, was not registered on their system until 10.09 p.m., around an hour and a half after the alleged attack. Yikes, it's certain that Amber, Rackle Pennington and the other cohorts plotted the hoax after all. Depp's team did a fantastic job in revealing that the 8.27 p.m. 911 call was indeed placed by Rocky. And when she was asked what steps did you take at any time from the moment you walked into the apartment until now to call the police? Pennington replied, the police had already been called by EO. The audacity, fans have concluded that Rocky didn't only lie to the court, she lied to the entire public and that sure didn't look good on Amber's argument. Besides, Depp's legal team said Depp was seen on surveillance video leaving the apartment at 8.29 p.m. and knew nothing about Heard's alleged injuries until she filed for a restraining order six days later and attended court with a bruised face. In fact, when the two LAPD officers who responded to the 8.27 p.m. call, Melissa Seentz and Tyler Haddon, they said they never found any evidence of a crime. Officer Seentz said in a July 2016 deposition that the pair left behind a business card and didn't know until two weeks later the man involved was Johnny Depp. Seentz said she also learned that a second patrol visited the penthouse later the same night. She didn't recall the names of the officers but said in her testimony their findings were the same as ours. Do you recall what you were thinking? I remember being impressed by the, the penthouse, how big and beautiful it was, yes. But anything else? No, nothing. And just so we can stay on that for a minute, you did not, you had not heard of Amber Heard at the time of this report, right? On May 21st, 2016? Correct. But you did know that Johnny Depp was an actor, correct? Correct. And you didn't know that that was Johnny Depp's penthouse when you reported that, correct? Correct. But you, as you just said, were impressed with the penthouse. Would it be fair to say you thought probably somebody with some wealth lived there? Correct. Can you bring Do you believe that you... Um... Oh well, this recent development agrees with Depp's lawyer Adam Waldman saying the various discrepancies prove that nothing heard and her friends said about the events of May 21st, 2016 could be considered credible. Quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt didn't do the trick, he reported. But of course, Heard's legal team rejected those allegations as fantasies and stated that Mr. Depp's representations about the 911 calls on the night of May 21, 2016 are false, and Mr. Depp and his lawyers should know better. All of the evidence, including sworn testimony from multiple witnesses, phone records, and police department logs, are consistent with the truthful account given by Mr. Tillett Wright. Despite Mr. Depp's efforts to misrepresent the facts and to harass and intimidate Ms heard and various witnesses. We still live in a world where certain things are true and others are false. However, an email was leaked containing information about the 2016 event when the police visited Depp's penthouse after responding to a domestic violence call. The email was between Depp's legal team Adam Waldman, Ben Chu, and Camille Vasquez and honestly, things are looking worse for Amber. The mail is allegedly about a conversation between Adam and JD's friend Josh Drew about the time when the cops were called to the actor's house over DV claims in 2016 by Heard. The email mentioned that Amber Heard called Josh Drew's ex-wife, Rackle Rocky Pennington to help ruin Johnny Depp and they waited to ambush him. But that's not all the email revealed. 
The document further detailed Amber Heard's extramarital relationship with Elon Musk and stated that they were into something immorally intimate. Not shocking at all. And this brings us to Josh's very own testimony. Amber Heard has been put on blast for having allegedly cheated on Johnny Depp multiple times with multiple people. The admission has been made by Josh Drew and for those unversed, he was once married to Heard's best friend Rackle Pennington. His video testimony was played in the defamation court and he admits to catching nightly visitors to Heard's residence coming and going more than 30 times whenever Depp was away for work. The deposition includes questions from an off-camera man that asks Drew, did Rocky tell you that Amber Heard was having an affair with Elon Musk and Cara Delevingne while she was still married to Johnny Depp? He replied by saying, yes, but claimed he couldn't recount specifics of dates or times. The man then asked him another question, did she ever tell you in words or substance while Amber was still married to Johnny Depp that the three of them, Amber Heard, Elon Musk and Cara Delevingne, spent the night together? Again, Drew replied by saying yes. So they were having what? A three-way affair. The third confirmation went on to ask and Drew claimed, correct. This claim contradicts Elon Musk's allegation that, I wish to confirm again that Amber and I only started going out about a month after her divorce filing. I don't think I was ever even in the vicinity of Amber during their marriage. Did Rocky tell you that Amber Heard was having an affair with Cara Delavigne while she was still married to Johnny Depp? Yes. Did she ever tell you that the three of them, Elon Musk, Cara Delavigne, spent the night with Amber in November of 2016? To the specific date, I can't say. Did she ever tell you in words or substance while Amber was still married to Johnny Depp that the three of them, Am um, Amber Heard, Elon Musk, and Cara De Delevingne spent the night together. Yes. So they were having what a three-way affair, correct? My understanding. While you may already know about Amber's extramarital affair, it's worth mentioning that Rocky also testified that Amber assaulted her. It looks like Amber has quite a lot under her sleeves. Rocky stated that she had a physical altercation with the Aquaman star at some point. Fresh drama ensued with this revelation which reflects poorly on her. In a testimony that lasted about half an hour, she narrated their early friendship and revealed that they even lived together at one point. She went on to reveal that they once fought over Thanksgiving dishes. Pennington recalled, We were getting ready for Thanksgiving and we were looking for maybe some glasses or china and couldn't find them anywhere. She continued, She finally found them in a place that I thought she had been looking for and we started arguing about it. She thought I wasn't looking hard enough and I told her I thought I had looked there. This altercation got physical and she pushed Heard, in response to which Heard either pushed me or hit me back. It was on my cheek. Pennington testified that this was the only incident of a physical fight between them and that she did not know of any other incident of Heard hitting anyone else. Finally, she remarked that the two were no longer speaking anymore. She, she either pushed or hit me back. Surely, there has to have been a buildup of some sort prior, and the two didn't just end their relationship over dish options. However, Pennington pointed at the moment as a big reason for their friendship ending. Let's see how the fans have reacted. A fan wrote, Hashtag Rocky Pennington is just as horrible as Amber. Johnny did everything for her as well as Amber's friend. Then she stabbed him in the back. Double exclamation mark, double exclamation mark, hash Rocky Pennington use Johnny, hashtag Amber use Johnny, hashtag Elizabeth use Johnny, hashtag Josh use Johnny, hashtag Yo use Johnny, hashtag Melanie use Johnny, hashtag Johnny Depp got justice. Another fan added, after 13 years of friendship, Rocky Pennington when asked why they aren't friends anymore, I wanted to spend more time with people. Must be a coincidence all these friends who lived with her red free broke ties. While another fan commented, hashtag Rocky Pennington is an awful person. She colluded with SC Amber to commit this diabolical hoax against Johnny. What's that beat business she's stitching together another abuse hoax? And hashtag Josh Drew is a cook, cooking up plans of another hoax to another unsuspecting friend. Shameful. And a fan question, hey, hashtag Rocky Pennington if hashtag Amber Heard is finished had serious injuries the whole four years you lived with her free, how come you never helped her? What good friend allows their friend to suffer? You know it didn't happen, don't you? Your lies will come back to haunt you. Hashtag Dior. There you have it. More details have proven how much Amber and her friends plan to ruin Depp and perhaps these details may have a great effect on how the appeal will turn out for the actress. Stay connected for more entertainment.